What's up, everybody? R -r Rejected. <laughs> Alexo, Crypto, Otter Gang, shout out to you guys. Another market update just before bed. Missed this rejection. What a nice little day for trading. Some easy levels, a double top. What can we say? What can we see here, my friends? Well, look, we got a beautiful pumper dumper, didn't we? A beautiful one, right? Just want to shout out to all of you. You know, just when you thought we were going to the moon, you don't mind buying that $20 stake. But when it comes to crypto, you don't mind dropping the bag on it, right? Because we know the future is good. We know the future is good. The upside seems nice. And we're all for it. You know, a life of freedom, peace and happiness with a little financial freedom. Why not? So let's get there. Let's look at the charts. I just want to say, hopefully today, no revenge trading, random setup. Don't get angry. You missed a trade. I've missed two trades today. Two trades, one of them by $3, I believe. Yeah, 154. 154. Yeah, anyways, $3. Missed it. It went long. Missed it. That's okay. Guess what? I removed the trade and I'll wait for the next one. So what do we see here? Let's look at our market cipher. Wow, 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 wow. Well, just when we thought we were going to the moon, we look at it here, we get this beautiful, beautiful double top rejection over at our 17.425, right? Now, I did not make this big enough, so I'm gonna draw again. I'm gonna change this just so you guys know, which I'm sure you do, you can make it much bigger and then you can control the end so if you want it to have an arrow on the end so when i'm pointing i can point but you know what i like to draw my own arrows so guess what we're gonna keep it like that um but yeah okay little lesson in between but look at this look at this we came up we're coming down who knows where we're gonna go next we hit this big huge point of resistance we turn on the vrvp we can see that there's this big volume here big big volume right big volume below us too that we've been trading in this range right um so where are we going to go next right where are we going to go next where can we land how can we trade these levels are we heading back down we seem to be rejected off of this push to the upside the stock markets are down how can we trade this well let's zoom in a little bit let's check our hours so we got the four hour here we got an x continuation um i'll turn the vrvp off VRVP off and um, I'd, and we'll take a look here. So as I'm approaching the charts, I'm fresh minded. I'm up for anything. I'm knowing that guess what? The market is bare ish. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for shorts in a bear market, right? Where's the trend? The trend has been rejected up at the top here and it's coming back down. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for bear divvies. Bear divvies are nice. Bear divergences, right? And how can we spot that? Where can we look at for momentum coming down and how can we trade this, right? So look, clearly at a key level of support, 17,000 is actually holding a 17K Bitcoin. Who would have liked the 17K Bitcoin before we went to 69K? I'm sure a lot of us would have liked the 17. So I think a lot of people are accumulating right now, which I am dollar cost averaging on a weekly basis. So if you're not, I suggest maybe not financial advice, but maybe start considering it because we're starting to get a little, a little bit at the bottom here. Is the bottom in? Me personally, I don't think so. I think there's more pain with what's going on in the whole macro side of things with the world and where we're going with all this inflation. And I don't think we felt the pain enough. But, you know, SBF News, all these things that are coming through have really brought us down. So let's get in to the nitty gritty. We know we've got rejected. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to turn on my, my, my bag of goodies for you guys. We're going to take a deep, closer look. So we came up, you know, rejected once, rejected twice. Now, will we make an attempt for this value area high or will we come back down to our point of control? These are the levels that we're looking at, friends, right? We want to be prepared. So 
where can price go next? Well, we're kind of in the middle of this range of the POC and the value area high. Can we trade it? Yes, we can. Because look, we got this big, huge level of confluence at the bottom here that also works with, I'm sure, a golden pocket like we all talk about on this channel. Um, so if I pull this fibs up, look. Oh, oh, oh. Can we get a golden pocket? Well, well, it's getting a little bit, a little bit difficult with me. So we got something down here. And we got, ooh, what do we got down here? Okay, so that's at our point of control. We know our point of control is strong as F, right? Um, but if we pull it from here, let me pull it from here and go to this side. Whoo, whoo, look at that. It's just waiting for us over and over again, right? It's been rejecting us over and over again. So our next one. If we come lower, this is what I keep doing. Keep lowering it, right? Because that's why you see on a downtrend, you'll see the wicks. They'll come lower and then, see, we're putting in higher highs. But this one, if we're going to curl over here, we're going to come lower. And then we're going to come lower until we can break through and come back to our point of control. Because that's what volume wants to do. That's what the market makers want to do. Or they want to fake us out. They'll come down. They'll fake us out. Oh, and then they'll pump it on us, right? Or they'll trade between this range and this range and this range and maybe this range. But if we're looking for divergences, if we're looking for confluence of rejections with fibs, with volume levels, we can trade these levels. I'm telling you, I only missed this by $3. And I was very, <laughs> I was quite upset. <laughs> I had this one today that I missed, and then I had this one. I don't like you being in my way here. I'm trying to I'm trying to talk to the people, the auto gang. Shout out to all you guys there. I hope you enjoy. You had a lovely Monday. You guys had Monday. You guys had Monday. So don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. We're at 39 subscribers in less than two weeks. I'm very proud of us. You know, we're growing slowly but surely. I did change I did change the thumbnail to not an open mouth thumbnail because someone made a funny comment about Alex and his open mouth thumbnails. So I kept my mouth shut for this one. So I hope you enjoyed it. So please smash the like button. I love you all. You know, um, I just want to say bless you all, my son, from the otter. And we all know in this picture, we all know the human is on the inside of the glass because humans are a lot more dangerous than otters, except if you... You know, you mess with the Otter Gang, you know, something might happen to you. You might disappear. I don't know. But anyways, thank you so much for helping me out. You know, it's been an absolute pleasure helping you guys try to find levels, trying to find confluence. So I'm going to give you these levels and then I'm going to talk about more of what I think the price may do. Because currently right now, I'm not in a trade. I was working real hard all day, swinging the hammer, carpenter life, right? You know, and it's goes to show you if you come with a plan you might you might miss it a couple times but you can have a full-time job you can work hard as a construction worker and you can come home and you can still extract money from these charts you don't have to miss out you can have a little bit of FOMO because you know you like to catch the big moves don't we all like catching those big moves but but if we have our levels and we're ready to trade when we do come to the charts and we come with a plan we can extract money from the market, right? So this is what I'm looking for right now. Now I've popped these numbers on the charts. Now the, the squares are there to represent movement within it. So like if I was looking to trade this today, right? If I was looking to trade this today, I would have looked for fibs and confluence, right? So I can see right from here to down here, we got a rejection, right? If I'm looking from here to up here, look, we got a rejection here, right? So I can ride this up, right? And then obviously risk management comes into play. We know about risk management, but do we practice risk management? Do you practice it? Do you take money early out of the trade and move your stop loss into in to break even? Do you do that? Ask yourself these questions because in order to extract money and be a profitable trader, money in your pocket is money in your pocket. 
we want to preserve capital and keep adding to it so that when we go in with our trades, we have more capital to trade with, right? And therefore, we can grow our bags over time, right? So it's about having strong risk management, a free mind that's willing to come with a plan and learn and grow and make this, you know, not just a little fun little exercise of let's trade the markets. No, let's let's try to get some something out of these markets, right? So always checking areas, always looking for confluence, watching for divergences, right? We could have one printing here. If we look closely, what do we got here? We got Okay, so we got we got higher highs here. So that's that that's a bit of confluence. We could continue with some more downside. That's what this is telling me. Because this has been pretty even across the board and we've gotten higher and higher, right? Now what are we looking at down here? So if I was going to trade this right now, what would I be looking at? This is exactly what I would do. I get into the 6 minute. I look okay. So we're coming down from this top value area high. We're in this range right here, right? We have one below us, so we're at the bottom of this range. We've touched down here. I'm looking at this. This has come up, rejected because of here, downtrend, right? Still a downtrend, still a downtrend, right? So what am I looking for? I'm looking for it to come around here, and I'm looking to get into a trade. So what would my trade be for here? Well, we've got a golden pocket down here. I expect this wick to be the level of where this one has to go. So I'd be looking below here. For a trade down here so would i exactly put my my trade here maybe depends on price action right now price action is very slow so i could be looking for a long here right and i could ride this back up to this this area here couple take profits in between right and that's a good trade if you if, if you have the stop loss from here to here that's a good trade right as long as you're paying yourself early so this is what i'd be looking for right now or I could look for a potential bounce. I could look for a potential bounce and come back down, right? So if it's going to come and touch here, where would my fibs go? My fibs would go at the top of this range here and down to here to wherever the bottom of that one is, right? And then I'd be looking for a re-entry to continue downwards, right? Because we're in a downtrend. We're in a downtrend. So to continue downwards, I'd look for it to come off of here, bounce off of this fibs, wherever, wherever this bottom of this goes i look for it to come back up and retrace to here and continue down that to me would be a good entry right now i think we're continuing downwards right so that's immediate future right so like this is how i come to the charts every single time in order to get into a position to to put myself in good success risk management looking for divergences even on a lower time frame right we'll look for those divergences in order to be profitable in order for confluence in order to change you know from us being, you know, oh, this looks all right. We're at the bottom of the range. Let's long from here. Well, if I long from here and all of a sudden it wicks down because of this wick here and it's making lower lows, well, then I'm, a, I'm out of the trade, right? Because that's too much, too much risk, right? We want to have better entries so that we're able to ride out trades longer and take more profits from the market, right? The better entry we get, the more profit we can get, right? So that's kind of my thinking on that. So that's just a little short-term exercise I'd share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, we're, we're, we've been rejected. We've been rejected, right? So what I'm looking for is for us to naturally, we came out of this, vo this volume area up here. We've been rejected twice, right? I expect us to work our way back down. The stock markets right now, I'm pretty sure do not look very well. Right? If I go over the S&P 500, right, and I check this out, how are we doing today? We, look, downwards action, right? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, S&P not looking too good, right? How's, how's the Dixie looking? The Dixie's, yeah, you know what I mean? We won't get into that. Maybe we'll add the Dixie and the S&P 500 because they do correlate, right? But right now, we're looking at... Bitcoin, right? And we're looking, what's going to happen? You know, look, three touches on Ethereum. One, two, three. That's a double top, right? If we look at that, that's a that's a textbook head and shoulders playbook right now, right? That's us, right? With a measure move downwards, right? So we can get confluence because Ethereum trades very similar to Bitcoin too. We can get confluence from other coins, right? But we always got to be checking the market. We always got to be aware and we got to get our best entries and extract money, pay ourselves first. Go out there. Have a great day. Have a great Tuesday. I love you all. God bless you. Take care. Peace out.